Okay. Now we learn about the vector interrupt. What is vector interrupt? We already said that vector interrupt that that has a specific address and non vector interrupt that that has not any specific address. So among those interrupt, only one interrupt that is INTR that is a non vector interrupt and all are the vector interrupt. So we can write this vector address. Okay, like RSTN. Okay, like RSTN means RST zero, RST one, RST two, and dot 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 RST seven. What are their call address? That's mean call address, but call location, or we can say vector address. For RST zero, that is totally zero 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 zero. It is a hex, hexadecimal. For RST one zero zero. Zero eight for RST two zero zero one zero. So that is the process. First increment by eight, then increment by two, then again increment by eight. That is RST three zero zero one eight. RST four zero zero now two zero. Okay. So first process is increment by eight. And the next process is increment by two, again increment by eight, again increment by two, and going so on up to the RST seven. Now, these are the software interrupt you already seen. Now for hardware interrupt, okay? So hardware interrupt are trap, RST five point five, RST six point five. And RST seven point five. Okay, we wrote this sequence because their address location are in sequence like this. So first is zero zero two four. Second is zero zero two C, and then is zero zero three four and zero zero three C. So these are the vector interrupt and these are the vector address. Okay, so non vector interrupt. Non-vector interrupt only is I N T R. It does not have any specific vector vector address. Clear. So I N T R. We we'll later discuss about I N T R when we discuss about the software interrupt.